Hello, this is Dr. Larry Green again talking about how to safely, rapidly, and conveniently convert pet waste into something valuable for your garden and in the process to kill the microbes and the pathogens that are in the pet waste that ultimately end up contaminating the groundwater. As we explained in our other discussions, the problem with pet waste is what do you do with it? If you throw it into the garbage can, it's going to produce methane in the landfill. It's going to fill up the landfill quickly. Ultimately, that material is probably going to contaminate the groundwater. If you just bury the pet waste, it won't break down rapidly. It'll also contaminate groundwater, which is a serious problem. Any place where there's moisture, the pathogens travel with moisture and ultimately end up in the groundwater table. It turns out that you can pickle, uh, which is fermenting, under acidic anaerobic conditions, which means you use the right kind of microbes that create an acid environment, and under those conditions, methane gas can't be produced. It only takes about seven days, and in the process, you end up with material that then, then can be put into the ornamental garden and help your plants. You're going to get all that nitrogen, all the nutrients back to the soil. You're going to expand the population of microbes in the soil, which is great for the garden. And in the process, you actually end up with valuable products uh, without contaminating the groundwater. So we we talked about the reason for using true fermenters. You start out by filling the fermenter about half full with water. You add an accelerant, then you add the culture mix, and you're ready to go. And this works for either cats or dogs. If it's uh, cat litter, you just take the clumpy cat litter and throw it into the fermenter each day as it's produced with a little sprinkle of the powder. If it's the dog poop, you throw the, the, uh, the dog waste into the fermenter each day with a little sprinkle of powder and close it back up and at the end of the cycle, ultimately this is going to fill up. It'll have a capacity of about 20 pounds of waste. When this one's filled and you seal it down, you're going to give it enough time to finish the fermentation, which takes about seven days. And in that period of time, you're going to be filling and working on the second one. When this second fermenter is almost full, you're ready to go to the garden and do the rest of the work. And uh, we have two fermenters here. The second one has been filled. And when you open this up, you're going to see that there's a solution in here. Uh, the smell is not like dog poop. It's uh, basically a vinegar smell with what I call uh, eau de dog or eau de cat, which is a trace smell uh, related to whatever your cat or dog's been into. But it's certainly not objectionable. And the other thing you'll notice is that you don't have any flies. You don't have any uh, obnoxious issues to deal with the waste here because the product has now been broken down. So the next step we're going to do is show you how to put this into the soil, mix it around, and feed it to your ornamental plants.